what Palladio is doing in a way is engaging with the mindset which is this mindset of of control of symmetry and re and inventing a new typology within those those parameters and so i sense that the the the, the 21st century uh, my, uh, the 21st century challenge particularly in the domestic and and uh, residential accommodation is to find some similar ground there was something so kind of uh, intense about this new spatial relationship, which I believe was his invention. It was a translation, if you like, of an earlier Roman view, but it doesn't, it is a complete translation because the Roman villa was a villa that paraded around a courtyard. These are villas that actually parade around themselves. Having had that idea and having produced that idea on paper and having made one or two villas, the idea is then, then now translatable into everybody's head. And that, in a way, is why I find this such an, it's such an intriguing um, contemporary quest and challenge. Uh, because at the moment, the only kind of exemplar that we have, as I come back to, is, is in a way what, what's happening in Poundbury. But Poundbury does not have the, uh, it doesn't have anything of the kind of depth of thinking, it has nothing of the kind of invention, it has nothing of our time. And what's so intriguing about the Palladian drawing, it is of his time. It is totally contemporary of his time. And it is, it is so, such a strong, in a way, as domestic architecture is, it's such a strong imprint that it does allow a fragment, it does, it does allow itself to grow. So it, in a sense, is viral in the notion that there is an idea that becomes viral. And, it, and I, 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 I hanker, I believe, both as an architect and developer, that in a way that's what happened with Georgian architecture. That's what happened with, with, with the way our cities have grown. And, and somehow we need to come back to that to find that viral mo mo uh, movement. And I hope to God it isn't Poundbury. There are key elements in the human condition which requires of, their, of our homes, all of us, a notion of protection. And that the severity of the external environment and the speed of change of that external environment has made the importance of comfort inside our home even more so. Let us equally understand that human beings, in terms of their height, their size, uh, uh, effectively have not changed. We occupy space in the same way. We perceive of space in the same way. And so what I'm, in a way, interested in is the internal spatial arrangements and the internal notion of sculptural form. And that is what I believe is, is translatable into our 21st century housing. Here's the building, and this is um, its number one Central Street. Hi, it's Roger. Hi. This project is uh, a project for four apartments in a, on a tight urban site. Uh, it, the site is unfriendly in the sense it sits next to the railway line. That's the normal condition in a 21st century city environment. My kind of interest as a developer is in the occupation of what I refer to as these leftover spaces. And in this project, uh, dealing with this interlocking three-dimensional form is in a way a huge challenge of the mind because your way of making it is the way of actually conceiving it. You're having to conceive it to the extent that each space interlocks with each other space so that the form itself becomes more and more complex. And in that rubric's cube set in this very tight site, somehow you are making the arrangement to end up with something that is so satisfying to be in that actually has that comfort level that I found a, a, I found a direct um, enjoyment of Palladio's uh, similar kind of engagement with the minutiae, with the kind of small scale and the interrelationship between one space and the other. And that in a way is the way in which this space that you're in unwraps 
So in the sense it was the unwrapping of his plan and the unwrapping of these volumes. Uh, that, that gave me such inspiration from, from, the, from the exhibition.